come on. That is absolutely incredible. Look at that. Come on on there with a little bit of parsley. Got to get a little bit of green on there. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're doing a German, we're doing a Reuben inspired dish. However, we're using cannelloni tubes. <laughs> It's a bit of a crossover, but it's a Reuben inspired dish. I've been making it for a very long time. It's one of my recipes. It's absolutely delicious. It really is delicious. So we're making corned beef and sauerkraut cannelloni. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we're using jarred sauerkraut. We've got corned beef. Now you shred up your corned beef if you're using a corned beef joint or shred up your canned corned beef and we want some of this sauerkraut but we want it squeezing squeeze it out we don't want all the moisture don't wash it or drain it or do anything just squeeze out the moisture and I'll tell you there's a lot of moisture coming out of there fantastic we got some grated cheese milk and mustard and we'll do, talk about that side of it when we get cracking on. Now, cannelloni tubes are these ready cannelloni tubes. Okay, you buy them in a pack, they come like this. This is um, an Italian brand and they're ready to go. So there you go. And we want a single layer today, so I've got this dish. So what we are going to do first is mix up our mix that's going to be stuffed inside our tubes it's going to be cooked in the high sapienta air fryer 24 liter air fryer okay there's our corned beef it's all been shredded up we're going to go in there with our sauerkraut a fantastic tasty recipe this you'll be very surprised how good it is caraway seeds in there now obviously if you don't like caraway seeds don't put them in and this is dill dried dill just going to give that a mix and i'm going to chuck some cheese in so let's get that stirred through first see if we can get it all fully incorporated okay in there some swiss cheese or grated cheddar your choice mix it in and i mean you can even chuck mozzarella in if you wanted jack cheese anything up to you we just want that cheese in there that's going to melt in there with the corned beef and the sauerkraut inside our cannelloni rolls there we go all we got to do now is stuff those tubes okay you've seen me stuff the tubes before if you've seen the cannelloni on here and we've used a piping bag and squeezed it in but you know, this is so easy to squeeze in there. You can just give it a squash between your fingers like that. And you can take your cannelloni tube and you can just do that. Because we're using quite a solid mix this time. And just stuff it in. Now you can go full hog and go with a spoon and mess around if you want. Or you just shove it in. Get it in there. Start from this end, squash it in, we want a good amount in there, and there you go. One tube fully loaded with our corned beef mix in there, easy as that. So it's very straightforward, just fill all your tubes. Okay, there's all our cannelloni rolls stuffed there with our sauerkraut, corned beef, that cheese and our little bits of herbs. We're just going to put that to one side and we're going to make a mustard bachamel. And that's going on there, but we're changing it up. I've got a little recipe 
Uh, instead of using all Dijon mustard, we are going to go for whole grain. Also in here, I've got a little, little bit left over, which I'm going to use after we start baking. I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so we need to be making a batch amount. Straightforward batch amount, a couple of tablespoons of butter in there, just like that. So it's a straightforward flame on, just melt out that butter. Okay, in there, two tablespoons of flour. Cook your flour, your butter. Flame not ridiculously hot, what are you doing? After we've had a little minute in there with that, in with the milk. Nice little stir on there. Now we're changing this up, we're going in there with a little bit of nutmeg, which is normal. So that's a normal bit. This type of recipe calls for Dijon mustard. So we want to be going in there with about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard is sour. So we're not going to do two tablespoons. We're going in there with a tablespoon of whole grain. We're going to make like a, a, a mustard sauce, but we're going to add bits of mustard in. Now it's not going to take long to thicken. Now if you take it too far, chuck in some more milk or even water, doesn't matter. That will do, flame off. Take our tray, take our dish. Now we're going single layer today. We're going oven on. This oven, we're going on 180. Let it warm up, let it do its thing. In here, our sauce. A little move around, nice and gently. We're just trying to get that sauce under our cannelloni tubes. Now you could have tipped the sauce in and put the cannelloni tubes on top, but we put them all in here, so we're doing it this way. Done. So there's our sauce on the top of there. We're going on there with just a little bit of cheese because we want the cheese to settle in with the mustard sauce. And then we're going to put some more over when we brown it. So that's just going to melt onto the top of there. Now I'm doing the old black pepper because I like a little bit of black pepper. That's going to give it another flavour on the top. And then we're covering it with foil. Cover up with foil and then that's going to go in the oven for about 35 minutes and then we'll be taking it out, whipping off the foil, chucking some more cheese on and a little bit of this, put it back in till it's brown. In we go. A nice little 35 minutes, let it do its thing. Okay, we've had our time. Let's have that out of there. Oh, it smells fabulous. Oh, 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 does it smell good. Right, we want that foil off there. Don't get burnt. There's a lot of steam. Oh, look at that. Now, this is where we're going to use this and some cheese. We know all our cannelloni tubes are there like that and we've got two at each side there. So what we can do... And it's just a guesstimate really because we don't quite know where they all are. 
But what we're doing is we're going to put a blob of corned beef on there on top of the tubes if we can. So when we come to scoop it out, we're going to have a little bit of corned beef come out as well. And then we're going over there with some cheese. And that's going to trap that little bit of corned beef in the top of there. That's going to give us that extra punch when we serve it up. 15 minutes I think. So we are back on for about 15 minutes. That's all. Just brown over the top, get a little bit of crunchiness on there. Jobs are good. Un. Okay, I think that's good enough. I think we'll have that off there and get this out. Smells incredible. Oh, oh, it looks incredible too. Just look at that. Wow, is that something special? Corned beef and sauerkraut calanoni. Look at that. Oh, it's bubbling like crazy. We're just going to have to give it a little minute. Probably about five or six minutes. Let it cool down and we'll have some out of there. Okay, we do know how we set it up. We've got two there, two there, and the rest are in a line. So if we come through to about that amount there, we should be able to take out those cannelloni tubes. Should. Oh, we got a slice of that on there. Oh, come on. That is absolutely incredible. Look at that. Come on on there with a little bit of parsley. Got to get a little bit of green on there. Look at that. That is absolutely phenomenal. Wow. Oh, we're in. Oh, look at the cannelloni tubes in there. Oh, come on. In we go, oh, it's absolutely boiling. Oh, look at the steam. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. That is really, really delicious. You know, I've had it so many times. I absolutely love it. That sauerkraut in there with the corned beef. And the caraway and the dill, oh, a little bit of cheese, you got that mustard sauce. Oi, you got that mustard sauce. That is truly off the charts. That is sensational food right there. Serve it with a salad, crispy salad, anything like that. Oh, and you know, by baking that little bit of corned beef on the top of there. I mean, come on. Just look at that for class. That is absolutely sensational. Oh. Oh, absolutely delicious. Wow. Don't forget, if you like what we're doing, share with your friends. Share it all over. Tell everybody about the corned beef and sauerkraut cannelloni. They'll be amazed. And if you do like what we're doing, big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, or ring that bell. Catch you in the next video. <laughs> oh, that is just ridiculously good.